Good morning. So I'm sitting outside my little trailer looking at the Henderson Creek and all the beautiful fruit trees that I'm surrounded with down here. Well, today's kind of a big day. I um, First, I turned 63, and I told you how goal-oriented I am. So at 60, I said I'd come down to Florida, check. At 62, I wanted to get my RV, check, check. Well, I just turned 63 last week. So over the last few years, I've been trying to just get rid of stuff. Last time I was in Ohio, I had um, some equipment from my physical therapy practice I had years ago, and I just gave it to a really good friend who, uh, she's now at the journey where she likes having uh, her independent practice. I'm happy just doing my home care right now. But I still, um, I still wanted just to get rid of more stuff. So I sold a piece of land, and before I left, I contemplated selling my Jeep. Well, you know how you always want that one thing, or you think you want that one thing? So I, I thought I wanted my Jeep, and I've had it for three years, and it's just a great car. It's uh, uh, a weird color called uh, Rock Lobster. It was unique to 2013. But I realize I have 71,000 miles on it. I've bought my RV. I actually drove uh, Gypsy around for about a month, just doing work. And what I realized was I just loved it. I didn't want to be outside of it, even when I was working. And when I was in Ohio, I um, mentioned I have a uh, red convertible Volkswagen that's been sitting in my garage for years. And I had so much fun with her. Back in the day, we would say, let's go to the Keys. Five of us would pile in, we'd go to the Keys. One year, my brother was living in Atlanta, and back during the disco days, there was a place called Limelight. Come on down, let's go dancing. Got in that car, went down Atlanta, danced all night. But I just couldn't give up this Jeep. First of all, when everybody's like, oh, what a great car. Oh my God, you've got a Jeep, beautiful color. I wish I had that car. You know how you always want what everybody else wants? I'm thinking, well, maybe I better not sell it. Well, got rid of the land, and boy, did that feel good. Saw the Volkswagen. I'm thinking, this is crazy. This car is just sitting here. Like, how many vehicles do I need? So I came back. It's probably about two, three weeks now. Thought about it again, and initially I was like, eh, I don't know. But then something just clicked. I um, had set up uh, an appointment to get some tires. And on these Jeeps, you know, if you want to get some good tires, it's, it's kind of an expense. I do have a car payment on it. And I'm getting ready for this one month trip that I've been talking about. I hope I love it. Wouldn't that be a bummer if I was disappointed? So I thought, you know what, it sat here for a month while I was in Ohio. It's gonna sit a month here when I leave. And um, in the spring, I'm going to do it again. And it just, I don't know, there was just something about it. So I said, you know what, let's just see if I can sell it. So guess what, sold it. So today, which is Sunday, I know, but I'm going to go to work um, because I want to save and I don't want to have any debt when I get back from my trip. Plus, I'm really trying to make these trips longer. Like maybe even this one would be longer than a month, right? So let's say goodbye to her. It's her last tour of duty. She is going to take me to work for the last time today. Here she is. Isn't she beautiful? You know, and as beautiful as she is, I don't know that I ever loved her as much as I loved my Volkswagen. And the Volkswagen does need a little work. Not too good with the camera. You probably can't get a good view on her. See? Got this uh, bike hitch on here for my bikes that I haven't really had time to ride too much. And that's going to be ch a challenge on my um, Gypsy. It's got a rear entry door. So I'm not quite sure 
Um, the Chinooks have the, the ladder that you can attach a bike rack to. I'm like in the sun, sorry. But this one doesn't. So I am kind of curious as to how I'm going to put a bike on it. So the reality is that as of tomorrow, I'm selling, uh, yeah, tomorrow's Monday. I'm going to take the RV up to uh, RV Tech in Fort Myers, and those guys are great. Um, I'm still having a little bit of issue with my generator. I don't know if it's me, because one time I forgot to uh, turn the switch off. Oh, sorry about that. But you see how my, can you tell that the stairs aren't all the way in? Yeah, my uh, generator's not working. Oh, here's what I wanted to tell you. Boy, the sun's right in there. Am I making you sick yet? Okay, so here's my door. Here, usually you see like a ladder. So, I'm going to go look and see. I don't really want to... There's a hitch in the back. I was thinking that maybe I could put a hitch on the front. What do you guys think about that? Do you think I could... Put some bikes on the front. I don't know. So that's something I got to explore. So the whole thought of like not having a car, especially when I do home care, is a little bit, it's kind of a thought. But you know what? I, I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm just done. I just, I can't wait to get rid of stuff. I still have a lot more stuff. <laughs> I got another piece of land. So I got the Volkswagen, but you know what I think? I think I'm going to fix that up. And I think I might just bring that down to um, Florida. I don't know. I'm going to wait and see. I just don't want to have to worry about a lot of things that I'm leaving behind. Or i got to pay insurance on it. Um, so I'm taking Gypsy up to have it... Um, uh, looked at for the generator and today is August 1. I should be heading up to Ohio September 26. I'm going to do a few things up there and then and then I'm going to go out west. This is like so crazy. I'm just so excited. I know for those of you that have done a lot of traveling, um, maybe I'm a little overexcited, but for me at 63, you got to remember, I ran this business for like 34 years. I've been a PT for 42. I raised nine kids. It's just always been something and always working. And uh, for me to take that kind of time off, I used to travel, went to Spain and Romania and just everywhere, you know, but um, I really feel like I haven't seen the United States much. And I just met some friends in Germany who actually invited me. How cool is that? So I feel like today's really the beginning of this new adventure in my new year. I feel like I'm meeting my goals. I want to be happy. Um, what I can tell you, and anybody that's older up there, don't take offense, but between 63 and 73, those are really, um, I don't want to say, I'm going to say they're growing years. So I feel like if you stay healthy, you keep your finances in check, you just get rid of stuff, I feel they're going to be the happiest years I've had. So I really can't wait to start this. So as much as I love my Jeep, bye-bye. Subscribe to Gypsy Rollin'. Give me a comment. Let me know what you think. Am I like off the wall here? I don't think so. Bye-bye.